all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv yes my people we are back again to give you back to back update on how in the be on how everything they stop yes my people remember we are your one and only youtube platform always here to give you back to back as you need it yes my people that is what we are here for if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too because that is what we are here for okay my people pm simon Epa has done it again uh, normally that is what he has said and recently you know how big how big moves or the the big moves he has been making recently uh, as he be he just came out and declared and said that my people this is a big news that biafra must be declared this year and it must be defended no 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 loss at this particular point this is what he just came out and said that biafra will be declared this year and will be defended my people this is what it is i i i, I want people to just get your mind ready because i believe something huge is coming this year yes my people something huge is coming this year and you better get ready if you're not ready then you're on your own you need to be a hundred percent ready because whatever may happen soon might determine the fate of both the the country now and then be a nation the most important thing is that we have people that are working for us inside the inside job people those people are doing wonderful work and they are the ones giving us every single information we get at this particular point. They are the spies that we hope on to give us information. We only keep hoping that uh, at some point they don't, um, what do you call it? We are only hoping that at some point they don't get tired and decide to like do things on their own that would affect the whole, that would affect everything that has already been done. Okay, if this is what it is, then let us have it in mind that uh, that is what is expected at some point. Yes, my people, uh, make you the reason because that is what they're about to expect. My people, the news that have um, come right now is one that you should take heed to. In the Biafra army is the one that you should actually take heed to because note this. The Biafra Liberation Army is also in Abia State and uh, it's also in Enugu State. It's in fact, I would say it's everywhere that is expected to be. But then the main thing is this Will you, uh, do you believe they are there? Do you believe we have such people that are ready to come out and fight for you, come out and challenge these so called uh, soldiers? That they are not doing anything, they are just there standing for fancy without doing anything because it appears at some point as if these other people are getting more work. But then, uh, let us have it in mind that the, the Biafra freedom is closer than you think it is. It is really, 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 really closer than you think it is. And we'll get there, I promise. We'll get there and uh, when we get there you all will one day be happy and be glad that you believed in the cause when nobody believed with you because of course that belief would actually cost something the belief we need to have when uh, we move up my people uh, the these particular clashes first of all i want to talk about the clashes between um, the nigerian army and the and the the nigerian army and the the nigerian uh, soldiers the nigerian army and the biafra soldiers how these particular clashes will keep taking place and how um they don't need their their any equipment and so on and so forth and my people let us be aware that is the only thing i can say being alert and beware of your surroundings is one of the things that can keep you alive is one of the things that can keep you safe because of course if uh, anything goes wrong let us be hundred percent ready to do, to take charge, to take responsibility, to take to do to be at the middle of everything, so that we'll be able to like achieve our goal like we've always wanted. Because of course, if you don't achieve our goal, what is the aim of even fighting? If you did not plan on winning, then why did you even start the fight? And why I am happy is that every single person is adapting to this particular situation because my people, that is what it is. That is the key solution. That is the key thing that is needed in every 
I will repeat, that is the key situation that is needed in every way. And uh, this solution would always come uh, when PM gives us his, his, his mind-blowing news or mind-blowing characters. Uh, my people, let us just keep having it and then leave the rest for the master. Because then we'll be sure that things are in order. Uh, my people, I see the hot right now. Let us just get ready because uh, we should brace up for whatever that is coming next. Because whatever that is coming next is going to be something else. And that's why the movement will keep on going further and further without slacking. My people, this is what you would expect from a team, from, from a set of people that have suffered and undergone a whole lot of suffering all their lives. Yes, that is what it is in the civil war took place. Since the civil war took place, what do you expect? The civil war caused a whole lot of harm during 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 that period and there was a whole lot of issues to face at that point. But then yes, we survived and it wasn't easy, I must say. It wasn't easy for those that were involved during that period. And so it has created a whole lot of issues and traumas that we are not ready to face again, especially with these same people that treated us that so harshly and badly after after everything that they were, after everything they did throughout that period. And with that, even they still had the guts. I would say it again. Go on, had the guts to come out on national to press and say what he said that would that would he something that he said that he knew would trigger a whole lot of things or remind people about the kind of things they went through during the civil war. My people, it is nothing but shameful that these are the people that we are still in their place that still will not let us go, that will still come out and talk trash about everything that we hold dear we cannot we cannot i repeat we cannot tolerate it anymore and this is why we are not going to back down on anything nothing is going to stop us nothing is going to stop the Biafra. nothing is going to stop Debo from holding from going further from 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 moving forward on anything they've decided to do on anything we decided to do not even nobody i would repeat again nobody and that is why the coup plotters and every single thing the economy everything one way or another is working towards our good because chuko gike is written debo and the earlier we get to relax and find out the earlier we find out about it the earlier we realize that that is what is going on right now that is that is the aim of every single thing at this point the better for us because once you come to that realization we would tend to let things be, be how they are we would tend to allow things to flow how they are supposed to flow because then we would know that truly truly this set of people are destined for great things without even knowing one of the reasons why they have not still let us go one of the things that they one of the reasons why they have decided not to still take it to anything that has happened in the course they know what they have gained all through by keeping us in their stead. And they will not want to lose it. Uh, but then you know what you gain from this set of people. Still, you are oppressing them. And you expect them not to want to leave or want to go or find somewhere else to stay. It's not possible now, my people. Yes, it's not possible. So, that is why the reason. That is, this bring us, brings us brings up a whole lot of reasons. And... Uh, issues on why uh, Ndibo need to leave no matter what is being done no matter uh, no matter because the sufferings and the economic hardship what Tinubu has done apart from that concerning how even the how their people wants to encroach into the land that they uh, will be staying all our lives in peace should make you understand that these people they have never had anything good in mind from Debo. Because why? What is your reason for doing what you do? What is what is just what is there is no good reason. You cannot think of any good reason for doing what this same set of people do. 
but then they still want us to keep staying they have touched the lion's tail and they will leave to regret it so yes my people this is what it is this is what uh, i have to say this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you'll be able to get us anytime we drop news thank you